comments. Can I get a, a new business thing? And I think it's really important. It's oh, take, yeah, I'm sorry. It's I forgot take, to go to new business. Yeah, five, five minutes. Uh, last week, as you know, uh, the stock market uh, shut down. Uh, they tell us that it was for, for tech. Um, China, in the last 30 days, has lost uh, the equi oh. equivalent of uh, one quarter of this country's GDP uh, in an annual year. That's $3 trillion. Uh, it's the world's second largest economy. Uh, Greece is uh, bankrupt. Uh, Puerto Rico is $70 billion in debt. The tsunami has started. Uh, it will continue through all of our lifetimes, and uh, it will continue through emerging markets, and it affects the stock market. In 2008, the town, uh, in its trust fund, and I was on the websites today, uh, lost millions of dollars. Uh, and we have uh, recaptured that, we're back up. Uh, we lost two million, we're some $3 million on top. And thank God that the government printed money and uh, juiced Wall Street with a trillion dollars in aid. And I think all of us could run our businesses pretty well if we had that kind of aid, so we're thankful for that. Um, in terms of Trust funds, New Hampshire State, uh, Chapter 31, Powers and Duties. Uh, on Section 31 through 33, there was some feedback. We would wanted to see reports from uh, the trustees. That is with the Mackinson Company, I believe. Um, Mr. Mackinson had previously sent four attachments to us uh, that detailed the real nitty-gritty of the performance of this $19 million that the, the town has. That was requested last week. Uh, that has not come forward. Mr. Ma Mr. Silberdick wants to wait till the 20th. I think when there's exigent uh, challenges in the world economy, we have $19 million. We've lost millions of dollars before. I think in accordance with Chapter 31 that we get better information back from those that are handling our $19 million. I think that they should meet more frequently. Section 3134 of 31 uh, regarding trust funds, New Hampshire state law, the trustees shall keep a record of all trusts in a record book or maintained in electronic format, which shall be open to the inspection of all persons in the town. Uh, we're not getting that. And there's a simple motion. <coughs> Excuse me. And Mr. Silver Dick couldn't make the meeting. Uh, suggested we wait until the 20th. August 11, 2014, I met with Mr. Mackinson at the Galley Hedge Coffee Shop in an impromptu meeting. And that afternoon, he emailed me four attachments. Uh, we didn't have to go through Mr. Silbert to get it. Mr. Mackinson was still with the firm. And they are the, uh, these will be part of a motion uh, to put on our website this data that can be done almost instantaneously by those that handle our funds, the Mackinson and Company. It would be the Portfolio Comparative Performance Review that Mr. Mackinson is a principal of that firm, emailed me directly. And I've copied Mr. Griffin, the Assistant Town Manager, the Finance Director, and Mr. Welch, these reports. A Position Performance Summary, which would be the second attachment. What Mr. Mackinson sent was the MS-9 in addition to those two, which is a report of the trust funds of the Town of Hampton for a given period, and then a fund snapshot. So there were four attachments that he sent basically instantaneously without going through chains uh, in conformance with both the spirit of the law and the explicit requisites of the law, especially in this modern era, I would make a motion that those reports be uploaded to a town website position uh, monthly and that uh, it be available uh, to all the people in the town as the law requires. Um, do they not already have a website? I confess I haven't looked at it in the last, you know, They may. I'll, I'll second this motion so yeah. we can talk on it. Yeah, yeah uh, well, that, that's, I have looked at the website. Okay. Uh, the I selectmen see. here are, are to uh, um, lead the town in the prudential affairs of the town. Mm -hmm. uh, we've lost millions before. Uh, the um, grandchildren we have or will have uh, will pay the uh, stimulus that has yet been uh, unpaid to Wall Street. There have been some modest gains with, with that aid, but uh, quite frankly, uh, Wall Street doesn't perform that well. Uh, there have been billions and billions and billions of dollars of fines. And nobody's gone to jail. Uh, the whole street has been fined to the tune of hundreds of billions of dollars. 
there have been immense personal fortunes and no one's been prosecuted. And we have $19 million. The $2 million we lost uh, is half the Exeter Road project. Half the Exeter Road project. We are asking with this motion for something that has already been done by a principal of the company. It's the town's money. There are four attachments. We want that on our website so we can ask the prudent questions. Yeah. Thank you. Definitely. Is, is that on their website now, Phil? Or? Negative. Negative. All right. No. You can't. You can't get any of this information. On the Not a. Any other comments? No, I think we. As Phil said, I think we should. That, you know, the people of this town have a right to know. Oh yeah. It, yeah. But not only as taxpayers, but as as statute, they have right to know. Mm -hmm. And I think uh, we have a right to demand it they give us that information so that we can put it on our website. They're required to file the MS-9. They're required by the state to file the MS-9 annually, I believe. That doesn't contain the information that was just being talked about, okay. so to speak. Oh, okay. It's, 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 it's one of the pieces. It's, it's a piece. Yeah. Have we ever asked for that before? I did last year. I was immediate that, that same day, the same day being by Mr. Mackinson requested it from the Mackinson company. Mr. Mackinson retired. I called Friday. There was no answer. I received an email back. But in this day and age, that's an instantaneous. Yeah, it should be right on the website. Yeah. That's instantaneous. Yeah. And, and for the townspeople, yeah. there will be further discussion. I know Mary Louise yeah. doesn't support it, but you will develop the information where other, t other municipalities mm -hmm. and other governments are using our money and they're paying three or four percent rate of return, and if we use our own money, we have to pay the same rate. So there's there's follow-on to this, and information is power, and it's our money. But it's a simple request. It's been conformed to. It's a compliance with state law. <coughs> there's a motion. There's a second. Okay. Yeah. Uh, all those in favor? Unanimous. Yeah. Thank you. And then when is um, uh, Mr. Silverdick coming in to speak? He's not. He's not. I they're, saw they're, where they're, he invited us to come to their meeting. They're having a meeting on the 20th. Yeah. Um, he well, was you need to asked to come this evening to okay. address invite the issue. Invite him to come the next time again. I will invite him yeah. to come the 27th. Yeah, and see if he can come then. Okay. That's fine. Fine. Okay.